Sunday, which was the, no, Sunday was the 4th, we woke up, lifted the anchor at 7, and then at 8 o'clock the order came to drop anchor again, so we anchored again. It had been cancelled. So the same applied the next morning, lifted anchor at 7, and at 8 o'clock we slowly made our way down the river between the Isle of Wight and Portsmouth towards the Needles. And we got to the Needles about 12 o'clock and there was nothing but ships everywhere you could see and they, they were coming in from left, right and centre. Eventually we got through these at 1 o'clock and we were saw a clear sea but all the ships were behind and it, we set off slowly going across the channel and at four o'clock in the afternoon, we we left all the ships behind. At nine o'clock, at half past eight at night, the skipper got us on the quarter deck, all the ship's company told us where we were going and what we were doing, and said, good luck and all the rest of it. And then it came to us. As we'd come out of the water, the river, our cruiser, which was the, the uh, main ship of the flotilla, was anchored there, waiting for all the orders. And as we passed it, it flashed a signal saying, Good luck, 18 to mine sweep in Fertilla. Hope to see you all return. Well, that, <laughs> that makes you wonder what the hell's happening, you know. So, nine o'clock at night, we, we set, formed up and started sweeping towards the French coast. Well, that was the only night, only time we'd ever done mine sweeping in the dark. And it was terrifying in the day because you didn't know where the mines were and what was coming up. And we had to, being on the uh, four-inch gun on the forecastle, I was one of the loaders and the shells were as tall as me when I was standing up. And you had to pick those up and ram them in when the, shell, when the breach came out. So we were sailing across and we organised ourselves at nine o'clock. And we all did half an hour at each in turn in the bows of the ship. And you, what you had to do was listen for the chains of the mines being cut underwater, you could hear them, and then wait for the mine coming up and all of the foam coming up. And when you saw that, you spotted it, shouted up to the bridge, port our starboard side, mine, it was swung round it. We sailed on and across and got to within about five or six miles of the coast in dark, turned round, went back. Then we turned round the then we did about four in and out, gradually, the, and the minefield was cleared and at half past four in the morning daylight was coming we'd taken all our mine sweeping gear in and the ship started coming and as they came we moved out of the way and started clearing an area about five miles off the French coast for all the ships to come in and unload the, the supply ships the troop ships and all the rest of it